what's up guys welcome back to my channel tiffany's trucking journey before i start i just want to tell you guys to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber and please 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 this video today is not for kids this video is not for kids so if there's a child watching please click off because this video is not for children thank you welcome back to my channel Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking and thank you for commenting. So I know you guys are looking at me like, what's going on? What's going on with her hair? Okay, so today I recently got my hair cut. So yes, I did a big chop, y'all. I cut it off. Okay, it is like really hot out here. And I wanted to do something different anyway. So I've always been wanting to cut my hair so I decided to do it so I'm thinking about coloring my hair but I don't know what color I want to use so I just need y'all to just give me some advice you know just comment down below in the comment section what color do you think will look nice in my hair I have like a little zigzag design on the side you know I'm just trying to do something different y'all because I wear a lot of wigs and my hair was really long but it was also damaged too and i wanted to cut out the dye that i had in my hair and just basically just let my hair grow okay so this is like my natural hair and my hair is like naturally curly so you know okay yes yeah, naturally curly but anywho so this video today is really about some of the craziest things that has ever happened to me in trucking okay and it's really to bring awareness to a lot of women out here even men you know sometimes you guys have to be safe because you never know you know who's waiting or who's watching or who's lurking you know somebody is always up to something so um one day i was on my way I believe I was going to Houston. Yes, I was going to Houston. And I had my boyfriend with me in the truck. And um, we ended up stopping at a rest stop. And it was it was daylight outside. I think it was probably maybe like one or two o'clock um, in the afternoon. I can't remember what time. But I know we were on our way to Houston. Um, I cannot remember which rest stop I stopped at but when I tell you guys it's crazy like there are really crazy people out here in the world there's some crazy people out here in the world okay so oh. okay y'all so let me finish telling y'all so we were in Texas and we stopped at a truck at a rest stop and I stayed in the truck. My boyfriend, he went inside to use the restroom. So while I'm sitting in the truck, he's inside using the restroom. I don't know what I was in the truck doing, but I think I was probably either on the phone or I was basically putting myself on duty, on um, rest break because I think I was taking a break, a 30 minute break or something like that. So um, I was basically taking a break. And so he was in the restroom using it. When he came back to the truck, I went to the truck to use it. And mind you, it's daylight outside, y'all. It's like one, one, two o'clock, like I said. So as I'm walking to go into the restroom, I see this guy and he's walking. He notices me, I notice him. So we kind of give each other a little eye contact. He's walking really fast. Now I'm a fast walker, okay? I'm, I'm a very fast walker. I'm sorry, somebody's calling me. He's walking really fast. So I'm walking fast. And it's like we kind of like meet up like that. Okay. So as we meet up, his bathroom is over here. Mine's is over there. So I go into my bathroom. He goes into his. So something told me to just turn around and look. So when I turned around to look, because it was just me and him in there. Nobody else. Nobody else was walking in. Okay. So he... He was basically standing behind the door. When I turned around, he was standing behind the door 
Oh my God, somebody keeps calling me, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry, somebody kept calling me. Okay, he was standing behind the door and he was basically holding his penis in his hand, okay? Shaking it. And so I instantly saw that and I didn't even continue to go into the restroom. I immediately turned around and I walked right back out that door and I called my boyfriend. I picked up my phone and I called my boyfriend and I told him, I said, come in here with me because there's some freaky guy in here with his penis in his hand shaking it, you know? And that shit was just crazy because I should have just cursed him out. But me being who I am, I got the fuck up out of there because I don't know what he was on. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was capable of. You know, it was just me and him in that building because they have like an extra set of uh, restrooms, but it's outside of the rest stop on the outside. We were inside the building. So, okay, you know where the vending machines and stuff like that is and information and things like that. So we were in that section. So I'm like, this guy is crazy. So my boyfriend came in, okay, he got out the truck, he came in and he was like, where is he at, where is he at? I was like, I don't know, I gotta use it. So we went to the other, other restroom because I didn't want him fighting, you know, the guy. You know, I just wanted us to get up, get up out of that, period. I didn't want no problems or anything. I just wanted us to get up out of that because I was shook up by that shit because that was crazy something like that has never happened to me before you know luckily i was smart enough to not go into the rest the restroom and actually sit on the toilet and use it but i won't sit on the toilet i don't sit on the toilet okay i put tissue down if i do but anywho yeah so that was one thing that happened to me okay and we never saw that guy again i don't know what happened to him he didn't cross our paths he got up out of there, whatever. I don't know if he was a truck driver. I don't know what the hell he was. People are study calling me. I don't know what he was, but it was just crazy, you know? So to all my ladies out there, please watch your surroundings when you are starting out. Oh my God, why do people want to call me, y'all? When you're starting out as a truck driver, watch your surroundings, be safe because there are some weird ass people out here. There's some weird ass people out here, y'all. Okay, some very weird ass people. Okay, story number two. Okay, I was on my way to Kansas. It was like maybe three or four in the morning and it was very cold. It was when that ice storm hit Texas. Okay, it was probably like below zero outside. It was freezing. It was so freaking cold. And I'm riding down the road and um, nobody's on the road. Nobody. Because it's so cold and it's icy and it's slippery out. But this one guy, okay, he had on all black and looked like it was leather. And it was cold, guys. He was dressed nice. He was really dressed, okay? And the reason why I say he was dressed because I was, the road, the road was dark, okay? It was pitch black out there. The only thing you can see is my lights in front of my truck. That's it, okay? No street lights, nothing. So the only way I saw him was because when I got up on him, that's when I saw him. And I was driving very slow. I don't know how slow I was driving. I, probably, I was probably driving maybe 30 to 40 miles per hour because it was very slippery and I was heavily loaded. So I didn't want to have an accident or anything like that okay you know so I'm taking my time and I just roll up on this guy and for some reason we ended up catching like basically locking eyes so we just basically locking eyes okay <laughs> and so I don't even know if I'm we ended up locking eyes so when he saw me and I saw him it was like he actually saw me so when he saw me and we looking at each other, he just did this to me. I promise you guys, I cannot make this up. This man jumped at my truck like he was jumping on my truck, okay? And the way he jumped at my truck, like he was just walking with his head down, okay? He was walking with his head down and he put his head up and immediately we locked eyes. When, we, when he did that, he 
jumped at my truck like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was fucking scared. I was like, this man just jumped on my truck. Where did he go? I'm looking like I did not swerve. I don't know if he wanted me to swerve. I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know if he wanted me to stop. I was not finna stop. I was not finna stop. I kept driving. I kept driving. Okay, I kept driving. I'm. It's pitch black. It's dark. My truck didn't go blue bloop. So I know I didn't hit him. I know I didn't run over him. Okay, so I'm looking in my mirrors and I can't see nothing anyway because it's pitch fucking black. It's pitch fucking black outside. Okay, and I'm scared. I'm like, did this man jump on my truck? Did he go under my truck? Oh my God, what happened? Because he had on all black. Okay, he had on all black leather i know it was leather because i was able to see what he had on you know i should have moved over to the side but like i said it was so dark out there i didn't see him until i got up on him got up close enough to see him and when i did he and i was just one i was stunned because i was like why are you even out here in the middle of nowhere and it's like below zero cold as fuck out here and you out here walking like it's summertime literally strolling like sliding his feet like he's singing and dancing type bruh it's cold as hell out here and i was just like shocked that he was out here and so it just threw me off the from what he did when he jumped at my truck okay so i didn't stop i kept going when i made it to like a loves what i did was i pulled into the loves i pulled <laughs> in front of the fuel out and I get out of my truck and I walked around you know to check my truck make sure it wasn't make sure he wasn't on my truck because that was some weird scary freaky shit okay and I was shook like I was shaking the whole time I was driving and I'm just trying to figure out what was his reason what was his reason I don't know but that was the second craziest thing that happened to me the third craziest thing that happened to me while I was over the road, I was in Kentucky and I was delivering to a Michaels, okay? I made it to the Michaels early, probably two hours early. I had my son with me at this time. He, I, in, I made it there, like I said, two hours early. It was in the middle of the night, early morning. So it could have been one or two o'clock in the morning again. You know, that's when the freaks come out. So I backed into the, I pulled into the back of the store because a Michael's, you know, is basically in a strip mall. So I backed in to the dock so that I can already be there. And I wanted to take me a nap because I was tired. So I said, I'm just going to go ahead, take me a nap before it's time for me to deliver. I made sure my doors were locked. I put my seatbelts in my doors and locked them in. My son was up and he was playing his game. So I set my alarm so I know that I need to get up when it's time for me to go ahead and, you know, get ready to open these doors because, you know, I knew what time I had to deliver. When I got back there, there was nobody back there in the back of the store. Nobody. I had my curtains closed, okay? So when I got up, the first thing I always do whenever I park somewhere, it's dark. Or or I feel like it's a kind of a, a sketchy place. I always peek, do, peek through my curtains before I actually just open them, just bust them wide open, you know? I always peek through because you never know who's standing out there or what. You want to basically check your surroundings at all times. So I'm checking my surroundings and all of a sudden I just see this car like literally parked right in front of my truck. But a little, probably like two feet away, two or three feet away, maybe more, maybe less. Okay. But he was literally like right across the parking lot. And he was sitting next to a um, garbage can. I don't know what the guy was doing, but he wasn't there when I laid down. So he's sitting there. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody's calling me. So he's sitting there and his lights is off in his car. 
I see his figure, like I see his face, but I barely can make out his face, but I see his face and instantly I, whoa, you know, I jump back. Like, you know, what's going on? You know, why is this guy sitting there? Like, is he waiting on me to get out? And around this time, this was around a time where there was a lot of looting and basically a lot of truck drivers supposedly getting hijacked and robbed and things like that. So I was a little afraid. I didn't want to get out of my truck. Plus it was like two, two something in the morning. It was dark and I had my son with me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the hell was going on. Okay. I didn't know if he was a worker. I didn't know because usually normally that doesn't happen. So I closed my curtains. Like I said, I backed up and then somebody starts knocking at my window like. So I pull my curtains back and it's the workers because I know that they are Michael's workers because they have on shirts that's red and it says Michael's on them. I'm like, okay. So they asked me for the paperwork. I get on the paperwork and they tell me to pull up so they cut the seal. But before I pulled up, I asked them if they knew the guy across the um, alley. Like, did, did you guys, do you guys know him? Or, you know, am I tripping? Should I be worried? So, um... He's just sitting there and they're looking at him. He's looking at us and they're like, um, no, we don't know him. So one of the workers go over there and actually, you know, ask him, is he waiting on someone or, you know, what's he doing? So when they did that, he instantly drove out. Okay. And I was just, but before they did that, the um, workers ended up calling the police because I was like, I'm not going to get out this truck. You know, I don't trust this vibe i'm a little worried you know mm -mm. i'm not gonna get out this truck until he leaves being very suspicious so i was just real cautious and i did not want to get out of the truck until the police was called and he left okay so he instantly pulled off so that lets me know that he probably was on some on something i don't know maybe he wasn't maybe he just wanted to collect some garbage out of the garbage some boxes i don't know but it just didn't sit right with me so even if something don't sit right with you you have to make sure you are alert period you know never let your guard down never just be like oh it's nothing no because it could be something you never know Never do make sure you are in control, period, because you never know. But that was just some of the freakiest things that have ever happened to me. Comment down below some of the craziest things that you have experienced as a truck driver, female or male, doesn't matter. It could be funny, it could be crazy, 